Oh, I know. We should do like this. Hey, YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to my channel. We are making uh, Fruity Pebble Marshmallow Treats. And I have my lovely assistant, Desiree. She'll be um, supervising and taste testing. So the recipe is super easy. We have three ingredients, fruity pebbles, marshmallows, and a stick of butter. Let's get started. We're gonna start with our first ingredient, melting the butter, the whole stick. Mm. Just melt that down. This was preheating, so that's what all the smoke is about. <laughs> we are making a little treat, a little dessert. You're just gonna wait till this is all melted down. And We'll be back for the next step. Stick of butter is all melted. What we want to add next is a bag of marshmallows. So I'm going to open that. Actually, my assistant is. <laughs> Takes a great deal of muscle. <laughs> and we're just going to dump the whole bag. The whole bag. Probably. Oh. Weird. Okay. Just... This looks disgusting. Does it really? <laughs> it looks yum to me. This looks disgusting. There. Y'all y'all say does this look disgusting guys? Comment below. Does this look disgusting? Or it looks yummy? Like, it looks like Popcorn going with butter just melting while you're cooking it. Like, ew! Don't y'all think that would be disgusting? I think so. Comment one if you de agree with Desiree. Comment two if you agree with I'm me. It one. looks Desiree. yummy. I'm number one. This looks disgusting. This is the progress of the marshmallows slowly but surely melting down into the butter. Because I'm a little and she's like 40 something. How old are you? I'm not 40. Nowhere near. Oh, I'm at 50, but like. I should win. Try 30. 50? Okay. Now that looks yum. Team number two, yummy. No, team number two. I mean, team number three. No, team number one. <laughs> It's pretty much melted, so we're gonna start with two cups, two cups of Fruity Pebbles. Just, yeah, just dump it all in there. And then do another one. This was a lot of marshmallow. I don't agree that it looks nasty, it's just a lot. That's fine. Throw them in here. And hold the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this time. There are a few more in here. You don't have to measure it, but. Okay. Now that is pretty. No. To what? Just do the fill up the cup, and then I'll tell you when. Don't be like those cheese guys that love their cheese saying they don't ever see one like that. Okay, yeah. Um, we could probably turn off the heat. Uh, I'm okay with 
okay with that ratio. We didn't take measurements, just kind of looks like that. And you touch my finger. She's gonna call the police. I'm gonna call the police on her. Can you tell me the story how I said Crocs are those socks? No. <laughs> no one need to know my business. That's your comment. Are Crocs better with socks or no socks? <laughs> Crocs are better with socks. Okay, so we're just gonna, once we get all the cereal mixture in there, we're gonna press it into the pan. And it is still pretty hot, so we're gonna let it sit, cut into squares, and then, again, my assistant Desiree will be the official taste tester, mm -hmm. and she'll give it to us straight. Are these worth the sticky, messy trouble? Okay, this is the finishing product. And we learned a very important lesson. Always grease the pan because these are sticky. And I have two assistants that are going to a taste test for me. Give it to a straight neat. Gruddy Pebble Marshmallow Treats. On a scale of one to 10. A nine? A nine? What, 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 what can we do to get a 10? They need more crunch, less stickiness. More cereal? Nine out of ten, I'll take it. <laughs>